Yes, box office buddies. I'm here with JB again. And I uh, haven't been doing these much lately, but I had to do one for this movie because uh, although I haven't checked out too much in the last <laughs> couple years at this point, this was one that was high up on the list. John Wick Chapter 4. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm going to come out and say it right from the top. I'm not going to pull any punches with this one. We can talk about it more as like a as an analysis, I guess, than a, a review as such. I'll give the review right from the top. Like I said, this was my least favorite of the four John Wick movies. I was extremely disappointed. Uh, I would not say that this is even a good John Wick movie. I would say this is a bad John Wick movie when mm -hmm. I compare it to one and two and even three. We did three together and uh, we had said that it was showing some cracks. Yeah. And I think those cracks kind of gave way. Yeah. Yeah. Turn into Massive deep crevices. Sinkholes. Yes. So I don't know. What, what, what were your thoughts? I'm not as critical as you. Okay. I thought that there was a lot about this movie that was really good. Okay. And, uh, you know, moving as uh, these kinds of uh, action movies often are. But no, I mean, the way that they resolve the... Um, <coughs> excuse me. The way that they resolve the, uh, the character arc for John Wick is something that I, that I wanted to see to some degree. Uh, they could have gone in different directions. They went in one that I thought was good. Um, the bad guy characters were interesting. Um, the problem for me is that the set pieces were a bit samey and they didn't do anything really creative. There's only one or two scenes where they did, but they weren't impressive enough where they, they made you sort of feel the shock and awe of the first three, mm -hmm. you know? Um, well, I shouldn't say the first three. I don't even remember who the bad guy is in the third one, which is why I have a hard time saying that the... The fourth one is worse than the third. Okay. Because I don't really remember much of the third. Okay. I only remember those first two really good scenes. Right. And that Halle Berry is in it. Okay. Yeah. But um, this movie was... It was still good. I think I told you in the theater, it's not that I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's that I have a love and less love relationship with it. Okay. But it definitely feels like a sequel instead of the first two movies, which felt, you know... And then that first, you know, 20 minutes of the third one, which all felt amazing and fresh and exciting. Exactly. And then it just kind of goes down a little bit and then it stays there. And this movie goes down a little bit more and stays there. Exactly. You know. So you had John Wick. I think it was 2014, the, the first John Wick that came out. Okay. Keanu Reeves' career was kind of stagnant. He was not too relevant since The Matrix at that point. He comes out with this movie, and John Wick shocks the world. Hmm. Like, really, like, it, it, it revolutionized action yeah. movies. Yeah. It was... Brutal. It was brutal. It was a lot of fun. Like, like... Yeah. It had been a while, I remember, when I saw that, that I had seen an action movie where I had, like, fun like that. You know, like, there are very few of them, I think, of Taken. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And... There's there are, there are a few others, but where it really just came out and the Matrix for you, right? Well, yeah. yeah, the Matrix is on a different level. That's, but, but in terms of like a fun action movie and especially like revolutionary, mm -hmm. this this really was something different, special, uh, and it blew my mind when I watched it. Yep. Then they then I find out, of course, it had success. They're gonna make a sequel. I was so skeptical, and the sequel, in some ways, is better than the first. Yep. Um, I yep. won't get into too many details John with Wick that. Two was really good. But yeah. but so what you had right is instead of oh well let's cash in on this it was let's build on what we've already yep, yep. created yep. and they yeah 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 it's like it's like you take the lore of John Wick and they cr they made a whole world around it yeah it was. 
it was fascinating. It was yeah. fascinating to see. And then the third one, yeah, I felt like they were doing that even more, at least for the it's, for the first. It's true that I do remember from the third movie is when he goes into the desert, yeah, and he meets the uh, the sort of Arabic um, uh, assassins or whatever, you know, or yeah. at least the guy in charge or something like that, a member of the table or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm I thought that was member. that was really cool, you know. So there's certain elements of of that creativity still there. This movie has none of that. Yeah, they're building on this world and... It's just re recycling. Exactly. And so in, after the first three, you don't have that anymore. Yeah. So that was very... That was disappointing. Yeah. That was disappointing. And then the action also. After the 20-minute mark of the third movie, there's nothing exciting action-wise. Yeah. It's still fun to watch, but it's not... <coughs> It's not mind blowing. It's not stimulating in the same way that the other movies were. Yeah. So, yeah, I well, mean, and the fourth one is like the the after the first twenty minutes of John Wick three the entire way through. You know. Yeah. And what's weird too is that they really went into a kind of what would you call it? Not a supernatural, but an almost like a video gamey direction. In the last one, you have a blind man who's able to like kill a bunch of people and stuff like that, and he's the best assassin out there. So, if you're gonna go in that direction and be that creative, then you know the world's your oyster. You can do whatever you want at that point. Mm -hmm. And that they just recycled and referenced themselves over and over again. You know, um, it showed a lack of imagination. Yeah, and. Um, not only a lack of imagination of, uh, of recycling their own stuff, but, oh, where have we seen Donnie Yen be a kung fu blind master? You know, like... Has he been a blind master before? Rogue One. Oh, that's right. It's the same thing as Rogue One. I forgot about Yes. That. That's because that's also a mediocre, forgettable movie. Actually, I like Rogue One. Oh, it's yeah? One of the better, yeah. one of the better new Star Wars, the, for sure. Oh, yeah, that's not saying much. No, that's I know. not saying much. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know, but it might be the best of the new yeah. Star Wars yeah. movies. I, I, I like yeah. Ip Man. But he was underutilized. In some ways. I, I didn't want to watch a movie about him. No, but they could have done some interesting sequences. Like I was saying before, they went a bit video gamey in the direction that they went in, especially with, with the scene where it's basically a top-down shooter with incendiary ammo, right? Like this is a classic game going back to NES days, and now they have John Wick doing it. And you see what you normally see up close from a distance and how he moves and stuff like that, which is interesting. It's my, but, actually maybe my favorite part of the whole movie. But. Yeah, because it's the most creative part. Right. And the most unique. Yeah. But what they also could have done is maybe like a, 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 a co-op stealth mission, if you're going to go in the video game direction. It has the potential and never rises to that level. And no. so it was just repeatedly disappointing. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, and I think you had ideas about... Where you think the movie should have gone yes. instead of the direction it went in. So this is the thing. I've given my quick take on this. Uh, I was incredibly disappointed. If I had to give this something out of 10, I'd give it like a 6. And yeah. and, uh, and as far as John, John Wick goes, this is so many levels lower than what I was expecting and what I had seen in the past. I didn't think it was that So bad. that's my take without spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie, cut it there. If you want to hear a bit more about what we have to say, there's going to be some spoilers from this point forward. You have been warned. All right, so. Yeah, look, I mean, I thought that we talked in general terms about action and about where they went with the story. Yeah. But if, if we want to get a little more specific, I mean, all of this, right, the first movie kind of had its, its closure because mm -hmm. he did what he had to do and it could have ended there, no problems. Yep. Then you have the second movie, there's no closure in that one. Yep. He's declared excommunicado by the end. Yeah, and then everyone's after him, and that that's such a, such a cool moment. It really built tension. It's for amazing. Film, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. The third one starts off the the way the second one ends. Yes. Yes. I'm freaking out by what I'm seeing. I'm loving it, and then it takes a bit of a dip. Yeah, still not a bad movie. Still, um, I would say 
I, actually, when we did the review together, the last one we said, still better than almost any other action movie, but compared to the other two, a little, a little bit of a drop. Yeah. And you mentioned some some cracks in yeah. what you were seeing with the creativity and the, the action sequences and all this. Then you get to the the fourth one. Oh, well, sorry, you get to the end of the third one. Mm-hmm. And it's... You know, Once the, again, the enemy, because yeah. you're asking who's the villain. In the third one, the villain is the high table. You never, they don't have a face. Right, right. But the villain is the high table, and and the face of the high table is the adjudicator. The villain is the high table, and how does the movie end? Well, you you had two kind of ways it could go. He's you could have the, Winston, sewers, who backstabbed right? him. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so it could be like, I'm going after this guy. Yeah. Or... You could have been what it what it is when he says at the end. It's like, what are you gonna do? He's like, I'm gonna kill them all. Right. It, it feels like they rolled it back. That's what this movie should have been. It should have been like a Kill Bill style, where he has his list of all the high table members and he kills them all one by one. You know what I bet? Because I heard, uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, but I heard that they want to make a TV show out of this. Yes, I, I have a prediction have, for that. Yeah, I bet you that they were gonna go with him just killing everyone, but then they went, oh, but what about our story for the? For the TV show, and so instead they tried to make John Wick into an epic saint figure, which is what they do at the end, right? Right. So that they can still make him epic, but keep going with their. And this was their cash cow move, maybe. This is what I think. I don't even think Keanu Reeves will be in uh, a series. I think. No, no, no. The the John Wick series, I don't think has anything to do with him. I think it has to do with just the world. And uh, that's and why. That's why I would picture it being called something like the Continental, and it'd be based on yeah. on the hotel in New York. So they can't I have think, John Wick kill everyone. You I know think the I mean? main character will be that that tracker guy. That's my prediction. Yeah, I like the. I liked uh, all of the new characters in this movie, and, and I didn't dislike any of them. So see, let me kind of just even shift the villain. gears into what I like, right? Yeah, even the villain, right? This was an underwhelming movie, but everything in the movie I still liked. Just because right. I was underwhelmed doesn't mean I didn't like it. Right. I, I really, I, it just, like, again, those expectations. You see, you know, you're, you're in China for a little bit. You're in Japan for a little bit. Uh, the movie starts off where you're in the desert. And I thought for sure they were going to do this thing where, like, you know, like the ancient legend of ancient Arabic um, assassins and stuff like that. And then maybe that's the origin of the table, you know, and the sultan comes and he tries to wipe them all out, but they survive somehow. And John Wick's after them. But that's like a two minute scene. And then it just goes back to generic stuff and it's just one bad guy and it's just him trying to strike a deal to get out. You know, it's just, it was such a letdown in that, in that sense. There was a, but, there was a lot of... But everything in it, the, the camaraderie between the, the people involved, the characters, and, and, and also importantly, the, the two, three are both open-ended, but four does actually end the arc. And I was very happy about that. I'm not the sort of person that likes things that drag on. And so the fact that they gave it an end... We said this before the movie started. Yeah. It, this better be the last right. one. Right, yeah. And they did it. And you have to say that what they did with the character may be underwhelming. Maybe there could have been other directions, but it wasn't bad. I liked what they did with John Wick. So I was okay with that. The after credit scene was a bit meh, but... Yeah. I bet she's going to be the main character in the TV show. The Netflix series, the Amazon Prime series. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not Amazon Prime because they're probably going to ruin it. They're going to take the lore and they're going to just destroy it. They did it to Rings of Power. I Those love hacks. That show. You're a hack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. No, look, I, I, I can't disagree with anything you're saying. So why do you hate it? Why is it a six then? Because. Do you think that's more of like a personal sense of disappointment yes, that causes it? Okay. Yes, it's it's a subjective because, six. because this is an eight. No, 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 it's a seven. Because because to me even three isn't an eight, and it's not better than three. Um, seven point five. We're gonna we're gonna haggle this. Yeah, this, exactly. This great. Yeah, yeah, seven point five then. But no, but even then though, I mean, are there any other action movies that have come out that have been? This sort of big, this this like ha- had this kind of budget and were able to do the, these kinds of sequences. Top Gun. Yeah, you're right. Top Gun was amazing, eh? Yes. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe this is a seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but even if it's a seven, like still, like 
for me, like just now, seven point five. I have to give it a little bit of an edge there. It's it's definitely. I have no interest in ever re- rewatching this movie. That's that's. I would. I would. I would. Like not. I said, I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed John Wick's character. That's my mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, I got a little bit of coffee on it. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed how they resolved John Wick's character and. Even though they didn't do much, you know, in-depth character study or anything like that, in the world there was at least something that was speaking to what was going on in John Wick's head. You know, like when he chooses the Sacré Car and stuff like that. Again, the symbolism of the staircase going up, falling back down and having to get back up. Um, so there's interesting things in it that kind of make you feel some, st- some stuff. There's suspense with the ending. Sure. You know, so there's stuff in there that I'd want to see. It almost feels like though the movie was an hour too long and they could have actually put the good stuff in an hour and a half movie and then just said that's it you know we're gonna make this a bit more low-key maybe if they don't have any good ideas for how to you know create new action set pieces and just say this is the conclusion you know maybe in that sense it would have been a bit disappointing for people but i think it would have been i would have preferred it but what i prefer is not always (laughs) <laughs> I mean, well, how, how well did this movie do again on Rotten Tomatoes? Is that like 95%? Yeah, yeah, 95, 96. Yeah, so we're definitely in the minority here. Well, yeah. but the thing is, would I give it a... Would I say it's a bad movie? No. It's not a bad movie. It's a bad John Wick movie. I want to be very clear with that. Okay, that's fair. And... I st- yeah. I, like... I don't even, like that word bad. Big spoiler here, so honestly... You've already given the spoiler alert. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. He, like, he <clears throat> dies at the end. So, Which I, I was hoping I, he was going to die. Well, I don't know if I was hoping for his death, but... Here's what they I could have say. given him a reason to live exactly. and put that in this movie. Yeah. He, and here's the thing. So what was the point of all the other movies? After the first one, what's the point of any of it? It's a kind of vengeance. It's a kind of revenge. Like, what you took everything from me... And I gave it to you initially willingly. Then I got out. And then what I had when I was out, you took everything from me. Right? And that's kind of the what he does in the third movie when he cuts off his uh, ring finger. Right? Right. So now it's about, okay, you've, t- you've taken everything from me. Now you're all going to die. Which is how the third one ends. You know? And so it's just about death. And they even mention that in this um, so, so here's, movie. So here's my, here's my thing. If he, has, if, if he had killed everyone gotten the, the full revenge and died at the end it would be like okay you killed you killed everyone right. that was awesome right but in this it's but a because deal. because he makes a deal and he so what he, is he trying to get he out resolves of? he resolves the conflict through the rules of of instead of breaking them exactly yeah. what was the point of any of it yeah it, it it's like uh yeah it's 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 annoying for that reason no yeah. i mean he does rescue his friends in the end by doing the deal but rescue them from what he got them into that trouble in the first place in the second and third movies right so it yeah i i cannot i cannot endorse what they've done it really feels like they had to keep the table alive for their tv show if i i don't know if that's even happening it just feels like that why on earth didn't he go after the table why on earth is it one dude, he's supposed to be the biggest, baddest dude, not even really, but he is the judge, jury, and executioner of the table, and he takes him out, which makes him epic in the eyes of the table that he's supposed to be destroying. Yeah. That's just a, it's, it really is a bit nothing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And it, uh, so you have that. Story-wise, it did not work for me. Honestly, yeah. I, I, it really didn't work for me. You're right about the characters. They're they're interesting characters. They're fun characters. Who doesn't want to see Donnie Yen do more Donnie Yen stuff? Yeah. Um, also, I like that... Um, uh, I don't remember his name, but he's the samurai in The Last Samurai there. He's, he's at the beginning of the movie there. The one in charge of the Japanese Continental. Right, Fuju or something? Yeah, yeah, name? yeah, yeah. He's cool. And he's also a scorpion in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. so... so it's just, it was fun watching these people do their thing. It really was. It was, yeah. and but here I have another complaint. Because what is John Wick about? John Wick is about John one Wick. guy against everyone else, right? Yeah. And then in this one, 
you have like these people kind of helping him and like yeah. it's not just him fighting it's other people it felt like i'm watching the ex- expendables a little bit you know like That's oh check out this that. guy check out this well. actor doing his thing check out this actor doing his like no i want to see john wick Single-handedly, that was part of what was disappointing in the third one, right? Was when Halle Berry shows up, and you're yes, like, uh, that's when it started. That's when but it started. This one, I think they they had again they because of what they were trying to do with it. Like take the the Donnie Yen and John Wick moment at the end, right? That would have been an interesting exception, right? Where it's like he has to get there on time, otherwise everything is lost. You know, the stakes, which apparently are not very high. But if the stakes were higher because they built it up, you know, mm-hmm. he's almost at the top and then he gets thrown all the way down, you know, and then that's the moment where he has to climb back up and then there's somebody there, like the person that he's, that's supposed to be his enemy helps him fight all the way up to get to the duel. That could have been something cool, but the way that they did it was just a bit, well, as with most of this film, it was just a bit underwhelming. Yes. It's almost like the pieces were there and they just couldn't make it work. No, actually, because the table pieces were missing. They only had the Marquis. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I could have, if I had been yeah. the producer on this movie, it would have been. Yeah, you would have sent, oh. you would have sent back that script right away. That oh screenplay my right away, And be like, nope. <laughs> and and, and there, there are many inconsistencies with this movie. You pointed one out. Uh, you say, oh, that's isn't, right. isn't the second supposed to get killed as well? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I wasn't sure and, if it's because the Marquis says, I release you from this world before. Could be. But even then, that's a kind of, stupid move because why not just do that every time there's a duel I exactly. release you before I die you're, you're, you don't have to you know be subject to the rules of the table yeah so but yeah no that was a bit that was a bit stupid yep yeah. so so they even that like I was I would not expect that from John Wick for them to do things because oh it's convenient for for us at this moment yeah and then you're and this movie definitely follows the rule of cool instead of the yeah but the rule of cool when stretched out over three hours becomes the rule of um, a bit hard to believe, but you know? yes, but yeah. but that is that actually is. I will give its flowers there when they're due. Uh, for a three-hour movie, it did not feel that way. I actually yeah, wasn't right. bored. It was it was pretty entertaining the whole way through. It just it didn't dragged. do it for me. I mean, there, it didn't do it for me. It's it weird just, because there there were sequences where there was a ton of action going on this on the scene in the scene, and I went. I kind of want to see what happens next instead of watching this because I right. already know. But at least, at least you're feeling that. At least you're feeling. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Yeah. So, so I can't knock it for that. Like, I thought, I thought my biggest issue with it would be the length, and it's actually one of my least concerns. Well, my issue with it is that they have three hours to do something really spectacular, and they did something very mediocre. Yeah. 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 It's disappointing. You, anything else you want to say about it? Or? Well, definitely go see it. And definitely, I think, reward this film and this series for what it's done. Because I think that this is, this is a great series. I don't, I, unlike, I think, the, the Matrix trilogy, which was disappointing, this one is overall, like, it's, it's a really bumpy landing. And it's not comfortable. And you think you're going to die. But it manages to kind of land on the airstrip uh, and you're okay. I don't know. So that's kind of the vibe that I got from it. So it, overall... Yeah, yeah. Go see it. Go yeah. see it. See it on a Tuesday if you do. Like that's on, honestly. Well, in this economy, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, this is not one that I feel <clears throat> is is a must see at all. I, if you're a John Wick fan, no matter what I say, you're gonna see this movie. It, so whatever. Well, it kind of is because of how two and three end. You have to see how his story yeah. ends. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, and as far as seeing that is concerned. You can pay the fifteen bucks. I don't think that's that's a horrible. Pay pay six, pay six. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, half enjoying that with me, yeah, and uh, yeah. thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more box office buddies. Like the video, comment. Let me know if I'm crazy or if I'm uh, one of the few people who's right <laughs> saying this. You know, and. Uh, Yeah, we'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Cheers.